How to send emails in Brevo. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Brevo to send email campaigns so that you can get started on your CRM journey. Okay, so Brevo is an app to centralize your CRM effort for your business. They have a few services like your automations, transactionals, yeah, the conversations, you can also send uh, WhatsApp and Facebook ads automations for your uh, product. So to send emails, especially marketing emails, go to first go to campaigns. And as you can see, you can uh, choose email, SMS, web push, and etc. Now let's just go to email. Now, on the email campaigns menu here, you can see quite a few features. Now, when we have an email campaign, you can have uh, the analytics. Let's go to statistics to see it. I want to explain to you a bit about it. Now, on the statistics page, as you can see, you can have the open rate of your emails, your click rate, and your unsubscription rate all of the most important imp informations if you're having having an email campaign right so uh, before we see our statistics let's first create an email campaign so go to email and click create an email campaign and you can either choose the regular type of email or the a b test email now for the regular email this is just a plain old uh, like a regular email that you want to send out to your contact lists the a b test email is an email mode that you can use to test between uh, types and compositions of emails so uh, it, basically it's an a b testing so a b testing is when you want to test which between uh, of the two options that you have the a and b which is more suited and better performing between the two. So the Brevo can actually do A-B testing on email. Okay, so on our regular email campaign, let's make this campaign name product launch, right? Because let's say, for example, you're just starting out your business and you want to add a product launch campaign. So let's click create campaign. And the next step here we have a few steps that we need to do to uh, create our product launch campaign so let's firstly uh, click sender and click manage sender now you can choose which uh, email address that you want to send the campaign from maybe your personal email or your um, brand email and the name uh, and you can also change the name as you can see here now I'm just going to stick it to my uh, company name. Now for the recipients, now for example, you have just launched your product, right? Now you want your recipients to be your, maybe you have a list of contacts that you want to uh, tell your big news to first. So let's just click uh, my list here. I will tell you how you can make a contact and how you can manage them in lists uh, after we've done with the email. We're done with the email. Okay, so let's click save. Okay, now we have set up our recipient. We have set a subject. Now we have to set a subject. Let's say for a subject like revolutionary, maybe revolutionary car technology. Technology. And maybe you want to add, hi, hi, we are finally ready to launch our startup. Maybe that's, that's, uh, you can choose, uh, any, like you, you can customize it based on your needs, but you get the idea. So after you, you set up your subject just click save on the bottom right menu here and then the design now this is the fun part because brevo has actually a lot of templates that you can use to uh, create professional looking emails so 
let's say for example i want to just tell a story right you can i can use this template but this is just a a quick like this is just a plain simple image right uh, like the pl a plain simple letter i mean now what i want to do is to share a story so i want to tell a story by using this template now let's if we click preview you can see uh this is the email that you will be sending to your contacts list and this looks awesome in my opinion so let's just go click this one and let's click use template okay now once we're in the designer so i'd like to see this as the designer of in brevo okay so let's run through see what's new i can use move icon okay content drag and drop and a personal greeting okay well pretty standard stuff now as you can see this is just like you're editing a website or you're editing a figma file maybe you can have a lot of blocks here over here on the left and on the right is your email content so for example on the logo here you can change the logo of your uh, email for your product logo uh, this will need you to set up set up your brand now if you haven't already i recommend you to set up your brand on brevo but otherwise i'm just going to skip it for now but it takes you through a, a website and your verification to make sure that you have a brand with a an established website i think it's best for you if you have set up a website for your business now let's pretend that this is our logo and maybe this story headline let's change it to after all year we are one of the first people we notify maybe that's that's a good way to start your email because we are launching a product right now the next thing is oops why is this okay so anyway let's continue and let's change the uh rep okay you can select and replace the image over here if you do so choose now this image maybe you want to um add a re image of your product launch maybe your product launch uh settings oh sorry your product launch event and you want to start writing your story and then you can go to this button and you can link this button to your uh, image to your full blog post and you can change the width the color as you can see just like any other uh, editor you can change the borders spacing and etc and this this applies to all of the elements that you can add to the brevo designer you can add videos you can add html or if you want to have maybe you have a like a built-in tracking api product tracking api if you want to send a um or you want to send or you, you have like a custom uh, website to like maybe analytics or or by the likes of it now you can also add socials as you can see and to do to add any of the blocks over here you drag and drop you click them and you drag and drop and you put it anywhere that you want over here so for example i want to put it on top of the uh, maybe under the story right here maybe under the read the whole story before the ending i can do that and i can uh, release my click over here now i will have my uh, social media now you can either set up a link um, by itself or if you want to automate everything again set up your brand account and it will connect and link your um, socials based on your brand so you can have so you can store a brand your brand information in brevo and what brevo will do is that the brevo will unify everything and make everything uniform across all of your campaigns so that you can have a consistent brand identity so that's the idea now uh, the next thing that i want to show you is the style no there you go again you can have a uh, a brand like uh, 
design language maybe if you have set up your brand account but in this case I can change my template the text appearance and I can save it to brand library again I can change the like the paragraph um, text size I can change the heading I can change also the color and the font as you can see let's change this to times new roman there you go this looks more professional i think now other than the uh, web uh, web based uh, email you can also set up the, how it looks on mobile so just be sure to edit both so that your emails can look great on both the desk on both desktop and mobile now once you're done you can either send test email or you can save and quit so let's just save and quit at this point now i want to show you how you can add contacts right so as you as your business grow you will have contacts and maybe you want to populate your contacts on brevo uh, of your uh, customers contacts right or your stakeholders contacts you can either import contacts from I believe from an Excel, a CSV, right? An Excel file, or you can add them manually. Now, I recommend you to set up a system where you can import contacts from an Excel. Maybe you had an online business and you have a list of contact in your Excel. That's a very great way to start populating your contacts list. Otherwise, each time you found uh, like a new contact or a new customer came by and you want to save their their contact just click click create contact and you can click the and you can fill in their information like their, their first name their last name their email uh, their sms and you can put them in the list that you want so maybe you want to organize your contacts from like where you meet them or the the products that you are maybe you have a line of maybe you sell like you buy and sell cars right so maybe you have a list for people who's who buys new cars who buys used cars or another example is maybe if you're having like a bakery you can create a contact list containing people who usually buy cakes or usually buy cookies or like your um your daily customers and i think a good way um, and i think why this is important is that you can create a rather targeted email campaign um, based off of your customer's profile so i recommend you to optimize your your contact list so that you can create a custom email campaign based off of the uh, groups of people that you have in your business. Okay, so that is all from me. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck